There are so many animals around me right now. Hello, kitties. Oh my gosh. And that one over there. <laughs> so it's actually 7.45 p.m. right now, and I'm so excited to be able to be filming because, well, this is a good and a bad thing. The time change just happened, and I love when the time change happens because it means more daylight at night. So typically right now it'd be pitch black outside. The sun always set at like 6.30, so now it technically sets at 7.30, but we still have some daylight, so I'm so excited about this because a lot of the stuff that we do around the farm is typically like in the evening, so this makes me so happy. But anyways, there are so many animals around me because we have a major problem with our chickens, and in my last couple of videos, I've been showing you guys that they've been living in my barn, just a couple of them, but for some reason, all of the chickens have decided that they don't wanna live in the coop anymore. And it's the weirdest thing. I've never ever had this happen before. So almost all of my chickens are right here. Some of them are still making their way over here. Instead of making their way back to the coop, they're all living in the barn with the exception about one hen. One hen goes to the barn like a good girl, like she should. And for some reason now, even this rooster, he was doing perfectly fine living in the coop. Just that rooster over there, Colonel, wasn't with his couple girls but now since this rooster isn't going to the coop neither are any of his girls so i'm having this huge issue with all of my chickens staying in the barn and they are literally pooping all over my barn and i hate it they pretty much all roost like well the newer ones now that i've come to the barn on my gate so there's a ton of poop right here and I hate that they do this. And I don't know what's going on and how to get them to go back because it's like impossible for us to move, you know, 10, 15 chickens every night to the coop. Trigger, I'm so sorry that they have invaded your space because they always sleep right here on his stall. I'm not really sure if he minds or not, but still, it's so frustrating. If you guys have chickens or if this have ever happened, or if you guys have any ideas of how I can correct this, I don't know why my chickens all of a sudden have decided to flee the coop. I'm kind of thinking it's because Colonel's situation, he brought his girls over here and then more girls started to come over here and then Ian was losing his girls. So he's like, well, I'm going over here too. I don't know. I've never had this, the entirety of me having chickens. I've never had a time when my chickens have decided that they no longer want to use their coop. That's where they eat. That's where their food is. They still go to their coop throughout the day and such, but they do not go up at night. I don't know what's going on. If you guys have any ideas, suggestions, let me know because I got to change something like quickly. Your ear itches trigger. Is your ears itching? <laughs> I just caught them headbutting each other. There we go. And jumping on each other. Minnie, get off of him. You weirdo. <laughs> Hi, friend. You are so cute. It is officially fly mask season as well. Like I said in the beginning, it's a good and a bad thing with the time change because that means that it is about to be summertime but I am having major trouble finding the dewormer that I need to help clear Dinky's summer sores and they just keep getting worse. So I have to order it now because I've checked multiple trash supplies multiple times and I cannot find the Panicure dewormer that I need. Hey, that was her face, be nice. Hi kitties, are you hungry? And that's another thing. Here, Here you go, I should have, see, I have to ward off my chickens from eating the cat food. Go away chicken. Because chickens love cat food. And we've made a couple changes because I'm gonna show you guys the pool is finally done. And we've decided that the barn cats need to be barn cats because Monster likes to eat in the barn. She doesn't like to eat on the patio and it's never really been in the plan for the cats to eat in the patio. They're barn cats. So we've been trying to get them a little bit acclimated to eating in the barn. So we started halfway. So obviously the barn is here. So we're starting them out here so they don't feel intimidated to eat in the barn just yet. But since the chickens are never going home, we're having an issue with them eating the cat food because of course chickens love cat food. Mishka, you look so dirty and dusty. Go away chicken. So now we have to sit here and we monitor so that they can actually get some food. Mike is on chicken cat duty over there because i want to show you guys my pool i know i keep talking about it in all my vlogs but it's just been something that's been so i don't know such a big part of what's been happening at the farm lately 
Whereas honestly, like we haven't been able to focus on anything else as far as like working around the farm goes because of the pool, because we've had to like really like focus all of our time on making sure that this pool was done right. So I'm so excited to show you guys that it's finally done. Um, we signed our contract to have our pool built back in May of 2022. I don't know why I thought I couldn't remember that. <laughs> so now it is March, 2023. So just shy of a year, but obviously we had a ton of stuff that happened throughout that, like the hurricane supply chain stuff. So finally we have a pool and I'm so excited to get my backyard back. I'm so excited to put the dogs back here, but I just want to show you the pool once and for all basically because i keep updating you guys every vlog like the new steps and so much just had happened and it's done so i want to show you here's the pool and we actually got a like baby screen gate because we're not doing a screen enclosure like our last pool but basically this baby gate is so that the dogs don't always go in here because lexi gets pretty bad ear infections because she always swam in our last pool and also we don't want the ducks chickens or anything like that falling in here but might just turn on the lights for us. I actually went swimming today. I'm so excited, but there's a lot of sand still in it just because the pavers and all that, but it's fine. But I'm so, so, so excited about it. Like, I cannot believe it's finally done. It's beautiful. I put my umbrella in there. We have our spa over there. And then this baby, like I said, just got installed yesterday. So I'm so excited for this. I'm excited to get my backyard back. And he just turned on the lights for us back here. So this is what the back patio is looking like and the cats absolutely love it back here, which we're still letting them back on the patio. We just aren't trying to feed them on the patio anymore. And I am actually most excited about opening. Well, let me go a little bit closer because we have a little fence here. It's like a temporary fence that we've put up and that's the one with T posts. And then behind it is our fence that's always been there. So let me get a little closer because this has been a real pain doing this every day for the last many many months so this is the temporary fence that we had put up right here with the t-post but over there you can see is where our gate to get to the pigs and the chickens are so the problem has been is we didn't have a gate through here so every single night to and morning to feed the pigs chickens let the chickens out all of that we have to go around from the barn all the way around the house over to here when we always like to make things super functional and you know this is not functional the way it is so being able to walk from that barn through that gate all the way over here and um, will be so nice to finally have back so that just will be easier and less traveling around the whole farm right kitties stella look who it is you guys have not seen stella in so long so let me just give a little recap if you don't remember but miss stella back literally in november when i was in italy got caught in the engine fan area of mike's truck and we had a long recovery with her and she's made her recovery she looks good she's been living in our house for many many months where she didn't really love to be an outside cat anymore so she didn't have any cat buddies because she was inside the house but we've been helping her like become friends with everybody again and enjoy the outside world but also letting her have the inside world. So she still has a litter box inside. We let her out in the mornings. She hangs out, does whatever she does during the day. And then about this time, when it's feeding time, she doesn't go eat with the other cats. She asks to be let in. She cries at the door and we let her in. So this has been our soft, like weaning her back out to the wild world of the outside. But I'm not sure if she's ever gonna wanna be like a full outside cat again. We'll see, but we've just started the process. Literally it's been since November. And she's been out a couple times since then, but not as like hardcore as we've been the last like couple weeks where we've just been letting her out during the day and she gets to enjoy her time and then she comes back in. So it's been an interesting transition for her. She's been doing a lot better with it lately than when it first started. She just was very unsure. Stella, you wanna go inside? Here, I'll open the door for her. Stella, Stella, go in. Go in with your dog buddies. Yeah, they're all waiting for you. Go in. Scouty! Oh my gosh, look at these noses. <laughs> All right, make room for Stell. Come on, Stell. You coming? There she goes. So now it's 8 p.m. The barn is a mess. Disregard, I'm about to broom it. But the chickens should be going home. Actually, they should already be in their house. It's dark out. Even with the time change, they should already be going home. But here you see all of these chickens that we probably will have to pick up one by one and move them back over to the coop because it's just ridiculous. I actually have a dog crate in here still that I might pile them all in and get the side-by-side. -side. We'll see what we do for this. 
filling waters and Junie always messes with this hose when I'm in Louis' stall filling the water. Let's see if she does it today. You guys can see her eye. The spot is getting smaller. She's not messing with the water hose today, huh? But you can kind of see right here where it gets a little thinner. That's where she always pulls it whenever I'm filling up the water in here. She likes to pull the hose and it sprays on us. I think it's her game that she's come up with. I see ears. You look like a bunny. <laughs> look at your little head with your big old ears. We're about to let you guys in. We're just cleaning stalls. Don't worry. Mike is administering the hay. I'm gonna get everybody inside. Oh, here's some more chickens. And then I'm gonna try to grab everybody up. The only bird I can't seem to find right now is, oh, this Ian, there he is. And he, you guys are gonna see, he's mean when we go to catch him. You guys ready? You know, I didn't think I'd be feeding in the dark with a time change, but I think I got a little bit too comfortable with there being a time change. Come on, Lulu. Go on, buddy. What's wrong, Blaze? Why is Blaze staying here? Come on, you're always the first one to the stall. Come on. Good boy. Horses are fed grain and hay. Mike is sweeping the barn for us and then we're gonna do a capture here in a minute. I have just, this barn is so messy right now. We had this brooder that we bought from Truck Supply. Did not really work for us, so I just don't even know where to put it because it's been in a box. Still not sure where I'm putting it. I have this cage here that the Colonel was in that he's not in, but I'm about to use it now to put my chickens in. And then this cage still that Monster was in that we haven't used in a really long time because we were leaving it open for Monster to like be comfortable if she wanted to go back in there. But honestly, she doesn't ever go in here now. She's very comfortable around the farm. So this week we have to remove that cage because I'm tired of seeing it <laughs> in the barn. It's in the way, but it's time to capture some chickens. So I'm gonna stick them all in here. It's not the biggest cage, so they are gonna be tight, but it's just for five seconds, literally. But my little chicks are getting so much bigger. Honestly, I might be able to take out their heating plate so they can have more room because most of them have like their wings coming in, but they're so cute. I don't even really remember what they are. I think those two right there that just jumped down are Rhode Island Reds. That's a silver laced Wyandotte. I think that's a Buff Orpington. Maybe a Blue Andalusian or something like that. I don't know, but I just bought like a ton more. Well maybe like five or six more that I'm picking up tomorrow. Your guys' water is so dirty. Eee, I gotta clean that out really quick. Let's take this out there. Water is nice and clean for these chickies. They are waiting for me. It's the only like bad thing about them being on hay and around the hay is the hay fills up their water kind of quickly. Here you go. There you are. So we've got our area kind of set up. I moved the brooder for now so it wasn't in our way. I'm putting them all in this cage. Those three up there, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with just yet. <laughs> We're getting them, Mike says. But we have a lot of birds back there. So let's see how this goes. One, two, three. <laughs> all right, birds. Just push one off at a time, okay? <laughs> have been successfully caught. Now we have a bunch back here. This is gonna be fun. Colonel. Oh, Colonel, you're gonna be with your girls. It's okay. 
They aren't happy with what we're doing. So the rest are out there in the darkness. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna keep the camera here and hope for the best. That we'll probably bring them in towards here because I don't think we'll get them out there. But we'll see. It's already been a struggle to get just four birds in the cage. We'll see. Hi, sweet girls. Slowly. Yes. One at a time. That's who you want to go first. Hey, anyone? whoever comes first, yeah. Hey, girls, can I just pick you up? I'm trying to corner Petro over here. We've chased Ian around enough and Ian wins this one because I feel bad. I don't like chasing them around anyways. It kind of makes them like scared, especially at night. So I'm letting Ian have this one. He'll stay in the barn. We still have two other hens out here that we need to try to get. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm out of breath, but we only have two more hens that we need to get. But if we can't get them, we'll just let them stay with Ian. But regardless, Ian is gonna end up staying in the barn because I'm really, like, really stressing him out. And I don't wanna do that to that poor chicken. He's a bantam. I don't want his heart to fail. <laughs> but let's get these other two chickens. <laughs> I got one! Last bird to be caught. In case she goes over, stay where you are. Okay. Oh, good catch! All aboard the side by side chicken train. Oh my gosh, they got some weight up in this thing. My goodness! There's the chicken mobile that we're transporting the chicken sack. Poor, scared Ian will stay behind and have another day in the barn. Now that that's done and the horses probably think that we are out of our ever-loving mind, let's go bring our chickens over to their coop. And we'll bring pig food too so we can feed the pigs. Hi piggies! Where is little Muffin? Little Muffin, where are you? There you are. I wonder when the pigs will start to blow their coats now that time has changed and summer is coming. All of the pigs have lots of hair right now. Penelope still has lots too. So let's see if there's any chickens actually in here. Mike's closing the little door. One bird. Good girl. That's kind of funny because I thought I saw her in the the barn. No, maybe I didn't. So yeah. That's the same one. One chicken. That stays in. I actually feel bad for this little long chicken. Like, why does she want to be in the coop all by herself? So not right that they leave her. She's the only smart one though, because it's safe in here and we lock the coop up every night. Those other chickens in the barn, they can get killed by foxes and stuff. Because the barn is wide open. We don't close the barn down. Oh, we'll still. All right, chickens. Don't be bad. Can you get that bottom one? Yes. Release the Krakens! Everybody out. Okay, use your brains just a little bit. Make sure they don't get out the door. Come on guys, go. Franny, go. Franny, go. So all the birds now, besides Ian, are in here roosting, which seems much more comfortable for them. We still have these two birds that are growing out in here, which they should be able to come out pretty soon because they're getting a lot bigger now. One ended up being a rooster, one's a hen. Good night, crazy birds. Well, I'm exhausted from chasing chickens in the barn for the last like 30, 40 minutes. Can you believe it's already nine o'clock and I started this vlog at 7.45 and that was a lot of work catching chickens like that, but I'm glad they're in their coop. So I still don't know why this is happening. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments because I am clueless and I want my chickens to go back to their coop because it's making life a little bit stressful in the barn. 
Anyways, though, if you guys liked watching today's vlog and all the craziness that ensued, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. All right, you guys, well, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.